What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing the recap of the last war for 2.0. It was our arranged matchup versus Cold September. The great guys and gals over there uh, did a fantastic job in this one. Uh, gave us a run for our money and uh, came away with a victory, unfortunately, for 2.0. 80-42, uh, the difference in score ended up being two TH10 triples for Cold September. So, well done over there, guys. Uh, just a fantastic job. You're such a stand-up group of guys. I think it's the my you're my favorite clan to have arranged wars with. It's just like just like you're playing with your friends, you know what I'm saying? Um such a huge, huge piece of uh what the class community needs and why we need arranged wars, why we need the abilities to just match up against uh other great groups of individuals such as Cold September. So uh congrats and uh nice job as you can see on our bases, cleaned everything up now we kind of shot ourselves in the foot with this one. We got a little overzealous. Um, we had, I think, 25 or so Town Hall 9 attacks left and only about 10 bases to clear. So we sent up some 9s to do some 2-star scouts on their 10s and then ended up not clearing the 9s. We struggled. There were 2 or 3 of their bases. Uh, I might show. I know people have been asking for, um, for me to show bases that we might have struggled with and show some of the replays and why kind of thing. So I might do that on one or two of these bases because um, they were very interesting uh, base designs. And then, like I said, we shot ourselves in the foot because I think we used about four or five down all nine attacks to jump up for two stars and get scouts down on these tens. Uh, and then ended up having to use pulleys to clean up the nine. So obviously that's not what you want to do. Uh, our fault completely, uh, you know, our nines, Definitely do not usually uh, let our tens down like that. So uh, it's unfortunate. It is what it is. I had an absolutely horrible attack. Um, no excuses for myself, but uh, I was pushing. I was hoping the war was going to be war search was going to be before three p.m. Eastern. It was not. Obviously, I know I'm not the only person out of like seventy people that has to uh, get all the time straight and stuff like that. So the war search ended up being past the time where I had to start work. So I um, I started work. I worked all night. Got crushed it for a UFC night at my restaurant. Didn't leave work till like three o'clock in the morning. Had to quickly plan and attack both my attacks before I went to bed because I had to wake up and immediately go back to work at eleven thirty the next day. Uh, so my first attack actually was on Alpha here. Uh, went pretty well. I actually had a chance while I was kind of finishing up my night at work to plan this attack. So I had a little more time with this one. And then after this one, I had a, just a cleanup attack plan for 22. And it just, I don't know, man, my brain was fried. I hit one of those mental blocks. Um, I accidentally, what did I do? I think I accidentally, well, I don't remember what I did. I definitely screwed up my heels. I think I actually, yeah, I accidentally brought a third goal on and it totally was an accident. Um, I don't know what the hell I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually now I'm thinking about it. I accidentally brought a third golem. I was supposed to have 18 hogs, not 12 hogs. So at the point where I saw I had the third golem, I, my, I just, my brain shut down. I didn't know what to do. I forgot to heal. And then when I did heal, I screwed it up and I, yeah, it was just awful. One of the worst attacks I had ever done in my history of one hive. Um, but I blame fatigue. I've been, uh, really, really overworked, but good news. I negotiated with my boss and I'm officially being moved into the general manager position at my work and got a raise and got two days off guarantee because I've been working six days for the last probably three months <laughs> and it's been getting tough, but I've been working towards getting this position and I got it. So awesome. Me. I'm happy. Now I get Tuesdays and Wednesdays off, so that'll leave me plenty of time to do content for you guys and, of course, spend some time with my family. So, uh, anyhow, great war, cold September. Love you guys. Uh, and 2.0, fantastic job. Just fell a little bit short. Like I said, you know, our nines really let our tens down this war, and uh, that rarely ever happens. So, we're going to address that and make sure it doesn't happen again. Let's check out some of these sexy tree stars. <clears throat> Starting down at the bottom. I had A going in, very cool attack, um, but notice the comp here, right, two golems with a third one in the CC, so he's going stone in from the 12 o'clock with a witch, so an insane amount of tanking, but here's what A recognizes, one jump here lets you into this huge core, and if you can get your queen standing in there, all four air defense are accessible via one chamber, so that's the goal here, is to get the, all this tanking, 
to push through the CC, push through the queen, push through all these high hit point things, get some stuff standing in this compartment, take out both sweepers and all four air defense and still have two lava hounds. So uh, if he just waited longer, I think would have got, oh, maybe not actually if I remember the replay. However, there's one air defense remaining for the two lava hounds, 10 balloons, just storms it in with a double haste. Uh, just a fantastic read here. Uh, as you can see, everything's going to plan, right? Air, uh, sweepers are going out, queen stepping up, taking out those uh, air defense. Wizards are in there helping out. So he's already got two air defense and both sweepers are now dead. Queen is going to step up, take out the expo, take out the third air defense. And then, like I was saying, he probably almost could have waited a second here. Maybe not, because I think this cannon locks on, takes out that queen. But you may as well send it in, right? You want those lava hounds to burst. You brought them. You need the pups for cleanup. So get them going in any second here. Hey, go, go, go. There we go. <clears throat> First hound in, two loons, right? Soaking up some of these traps just beautifully. Get some of those mines right in the face. Burst that thing as soon as possible because the second one is right in on top. Here come the rest of these balloons. Bam, bam, bam. Down go these archer towers like nothing. <clears throat> right here we go. Uh, it's just going to let everything kind of path down here and then haste and just throw everything on top of this little Tesla farm over here. It's a nice little balloon trap he's got over there, right? Um, but the thing is, all the air defense are down. So the hound's going to get in there first. You're going to see in one moment, the hound gets out ahead and just does perfect tanking for all these teslas lose a little bit to uh the whiz tower splash and the balloons uh the air mine splash but no big deal fortunately does not get this uh second hound to burst but doesn't need it got a ton still has that witch with all the skeletons doing cleanup like I've, I've talked about this before in other recaps one witch okay 12 troop space how many skeletons this whole raid this in the two and a half minutes you just watched do you think that witch produced right that if you can keep the witch alive, one witch is awesome, awesome value. And you can see A just really, really abuses that because uh, that witch was alive the whole time. Skelly's up, right? Puff's doing cleanup everywhere. Just a fantastic raid. A, nice job. It's treat in the bag. All right. Man, I got a lot of attacks here I want to show. Try and burn through these quickly. What else? My man, Rice, getting his base three-starred by good old Shad Fowler. Our boy Flower. <clears throat> so I wanted to show this because Rice has these troll Teslas that made me want to laugh. <laughs> I did laugh. Nice troll Teslas, Rice. Come on, buddy. We're better than that. <laughs> so troll Teslas go down like nothing. Queen's just going to step in here. He's already got this funnel created off. Queen's going to step in, take out this little section of compartment, and then continue to walk up and basically go from 9 all the way to 12, getting everything in her path. Um, really good value on this walk here. You're going to take out the builder's hut, take out this crap. I think ends up taking out the gold stores too. Yep, as soon as the gold stores goes down, she's going to go back up and around. Bam, bam, bam. So times two here until we get going. So as you see, really good value already. Even sends the, the double hogs in. I like that. Gets the lure out and gets the cro uh, the expo here at the same time. So that's really good value out of that because two hogs taking down an expo while it's tanking, while the queen's tanking. Just a great plan. Plus gets the CC lure there. So the hound's going to now work its way on over to the queen. She's going to get stalled up for a bit, but it doesn't really matter. She's going to position. So you can see the two golems have gone in from the three o'clock spot now. <clears throat> Wizard funnel goes down. Wall breakers in and successful, so the other three behind it are going to blow that thing open. <clears throat> Golems are rerouting inside the base now. King's going to go down right behind them. Everything's now moving into this first chamber. He's going to drop a jump spell right over top this uh, intersection there. Get into those here chambers. The double poison is going to go down to slow down those heroes and the rate of fire. Really good job. Maybe doesn't drop both poisons. Just drops the one. Um, doesn't really need it. The queen's not in it, though, unfortunately. I just noticed that now. But hogs kind of sprinkling in on all these very, very small, tight outer compartments. Whenever you see bases with very tight outer compartments like this, and you know there's very little threat of spring traps, definitely no bombs. So that's great hogging spots, right? Like you want it like fuse, like a little surgical on all the defenses and you're going to take them down all at the same time via two or three hogs per defense. Uh, Chad really, really does a great job of that here. So really there's this core to take care of, which consists of two sweepers, an air defense times two, a Tesla and an arch tower. So clearly this base is G, G. Heel goes down, probably didn't even need it. Oh, sorry. Your other troll Tesla in the corner. Ricey boy. 
<laughs> Three stars in the bag for Chad Fowler. <clears throat> 21. Oh, wait. Nope, that's not right. That's not right. That was a cool base, though. Why did I have that? Oh, Bexy. <clears throat> so, uh, just want to show, you know, uh, Colts Camera had some pretty cool base designs. And actually, I think that's why our nine struggled as they did. Because we really had to think about some things. Um, you know, it's a very different kind of open concept bases. Uh, you're going to see uh, one or two more of these sort of style bases where it's just kind of an open pit for the the kills, uh, the kills the defensive heroes uh, packed in with a bunch of other buildings and defenses and stuff like that. So um, just an interesting uh, styles of bases um, that I guess we ended up struggling with, right? Maybe we're not used to seeing. And um, like I said, we had about 25 town all nine attacks and we could not finish off 10 bases. That is very unlike us. So, uh, you know, on top of maybe having just some executional struggles on our part it definitely was also part uh, of cs base design they did a really good job with that so <clears throat> as you can see slight wall break fail there well pure wall break fail there but when you got eight valks standing on a wall that lava wall doesn't stand a chance everything's now in the base fortunately it's a drag so it comes out early he's got to get that poison down instantly and does so that's perfect double poison is down cc troops are going to go down like nothing Boom, boom, boom. Dragon, see you later, chief. Uh, everything's now into this core. Uh, heal goes down, taking care of these Valks. Just going to continue on into this queen chamber, the open style queen chamber. And now here's what I don't like. Uh, similar to the alleyway bases, this one jump, look at that. It let them in and out of the base. Like this is huge, huge portion of the base and there's no walls now stopping them. They're going to take out that portion and then just start the cleanup on the outside. And even those Teslas out there, um, right? Like there's nothing to stop them. Nothing to let the Valk stand up on a wall. Um, they're just going to walk right into these uh, compact buildings and get great, great values. You see the hogs are going in, just like I said in that last, uh, the last replay, very small, tight, compact uh, compartments, great for hogging. As you can see, gets great value. Heel goes down, take care of that one bomb. It is cleanup time for Frankie. Very sexy attack, man. See, like, if you look at this, the way the base works, you can get in exactly where Frank did, jump on over, and get right out. And you've pretty much had access through a huge middle strip of the base. Um, so when you bring a bunch of Valks like that, keep them healed. Gonna have tree stars in the bag like Frankie. So I got 12. Fun. Oh, I wanna show this one. This was a cool idea, I thought. Um, I've never seen this, but you put the buildings on the outside like that. And I was thinking about how that would affect troop deployment, unless you funnel that off. I mean, it, they are free buildings. Right, and you can see Sean will take advantage of that. We're going to times to this, but just drops a few minions early, right? Just starts taking them out for free. There's no danger of anything. Um, and then the other thing I like here, you see over in this corner, yanks the CC out, which is a golem. I've never seen a golem dealt this way. Double poisons it. See, another one's going to go down for the golemites and drops three minions. So basically for 11 true space, because I think he only sent in one hog to get the lure and then... Or is it even one hog? I think he just dropped one uh, archer there or one barb. But uh, gets the lure out nonetheless. Double poison and three minions takes care of that golem like no problem. So I thought that was a cool thing. I've never, ever, ever seen a golem dealt with like that. Um, but as you can see now that the golem's out of the way, the minions have created this huge funnel on the base. All these free buildings they've been getting. Um, two golems are in. Wall is opening up because you can just drop those wall breakers right beside the wall. So that is the downfall of these buildings out here. Um, I just thought it was really, a uh, really creative concept, but you'll definitely see, uh, sometimes when you're trying to get creative, you open up some very large flaws to your base. Like the fact that you can just drop units right outside this wall, AKA wall breakers and valves, and you have no worries of them walking whatsoever. Uh, so everything's in here now, right? Jump is down. It's got to get over to this queen chamber. Um, but everything, you know, this jump only connects that core only connects down here. He's going to drop, jump one more time into that queen chamber. There it is. Continues to work this through, has one heal, sends in a few hogs to help protect that queen on the back end. Gonna send in a few more hogs, help reinforce those hogs moving in. Gonna heal, I think, over this top section, somewhere right around there. I know there's a bomb, I think there's a bomb right in here. Da, 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 da. Where is that? Oh, heal is already down. Where did he put that heal? I missed it. <laughs> I swear he had heal. Did he heal the Valks maybe, or am I just blind? Whatever, sexy attack by Sean. 
Rages that king up. It is still doing work. Queen is just cleaning up around the base. Look at that. Valks left. Like so many of your troops left. Very, very nice raid shot. It's treat in the bag. Oh, blind spot. Blind spot used to be on our base, base building design team in 2.0. Um, left quite a long time ago, probably at least six months ago or so. Uh, Join Colts camera, you know, uh, all the best, my friend, uh, my Hawaiian friend. I'm jealous that you live in Hawaii because I would love to live there myself. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I live in Canada and it, it actually is a very mild winter, so I can't complain, but I guarantee the weather's nicer in Hawaii. But uh, you can see Warble steps in. This was a first hit. Um, but a very different base design. This is what I'm saying about this this kind of newer open concept, just hero pit, surrounded by buildings, surrounded by uh, defenses, uh, and then leaving the rest of your base kind of as a maze to figure out in the back. But Warb does this on the first try here. Queen charges right into this base. Um, gonna take out a big, big chunk. <laughs> Sends in one hog and, and loses it to a spring trap. <clears throat> CC is now coming out. Rage goes down to help that queen out. She's gonna pop through that stuff like nothing. Down goes that dragon, one more shot. Probably did not need to burn the ability there, Warp. It just needed one more shot on that drag. She was gonna get right back up. But like I've always said, better to keep her alive than have her dead because the raid hinges on so much. So you can see this open style, like not sure what the idea is um, behind it. I wish I could talk to Blindspot and I'd ask him what the thought is behind this open style. I mean, you can just drop units. You don't have to worry about, I mean, I, you don't have to bring a jump even. Um, like you probably could have just done with another queen rage here instead of a jump because he still has 11 hogs for only two, three, four, five, maybe like eight or nine defenses on that back end. Uh, does have to worry about getting through here, but could have brought a heal maybe instead of that jump. Like nothing took this jump. It was like a swag jump right there. <laughs> totally a swag jump. Um, and mainly because all of this was wide open and you have access to both those heroes, quite a few defenses. Um, so if you can charge into the rest of the base with the queen, take care of the CC, and then, it, boom, imagine he had a heal for these, boom, I would send in eight hogs, or I would have saved some, even 10 hogs, one heal, see you later, little Tesla trap on the side. Come on, send in those hogs. <laughs> what is the delay warp? Send them. He's just waiting for tanking to get over there. I guess he is. Yeah, here they come. Everything moving in, Tesla farm going down. See you later, blind spot. Kind of a cool base design. I'm very interested in uh, what the theory is behind uh, behind these open queen chambers. I guess we'll call them. <clears throat> That's tree in the bag for my man warb. Sexy. Um, and di I'm getting into a th10 trip here. DI has been doing very, very, very well. Uh, just got a Queen 40 not too, too long ago. So it's really been working on these uh, TH10 trips. Um, goes into this one against Beer Me. <clears throat> Does a little bit of this uh, kind of Queen Charge action here. Opens it up. He's got, now has access to that air defense. And I believe the Queen might step up here in one moment when she moves over. No, not quite. I got the queen with this queen there. Maybe, yeah, there it is. Queen steps up. Down the queen goes. Oh, locks onto the hound first, but has to double raise. Poison goes down. Very, very smart. Rages up his queen. Barely makes it through, but just fantastic. You know, on the spot reflexes with that queen, man. Got that rage down. Hit that ability. That was a panic moment for you, for sure. I'm going to slow this back down. Um, as you see, kill squad's gone in, right? Kind of did a huge damage there. So two air defenses down. Air attacks now commence. Hounds are in on that first air defense. Freeze goes down, gets two Teslas and that Inferno with one freeze. That's a great, great value. Rage is down. Balloons are going to smash through those uh, three defenses all in a row there. One air defense to go. Both Inferno Towers are down. Just fantastic raid DI. Really, it all hinged on you saving your queen there because she steps up now in a moment. Starts helping up with the cleanup. Got to get to that wizard tower. Once that wizard tower goes down, there is zero threat left on the board for anything. See you later. Clean up time. DI. Very nice, man. 
Boom, boom, boom. Tree stars in the bag. And one more. <clears throat> this is Big Papa with a little bully. This Mass Witch. I know you folks love seeing this uh, Mass Witch Grand Warden attack. Uh, become fairly common uh, bully style for the Town Hall 11. Uh, just got to kind of figure out exactly uh, exactly where uh, you can send your witches in so that they don't get held up on walls or on uh, anything really while they get pounded on by infernos or wizard towers or mortars. Um, and you have 10 of them as well with the protection from the Grand Warden. So it's almost like you get an extra freeze out of the Grand Warden. So you don't even need to bring a freeze, right? Because your freeze is the Grand Warden ability. And you're going to see how this kind of works out. So the cold-blooded golem goes in, going to create that funnel, opens up that wall, bunch of giants come out of that CC. Thought that was a smart idea too, because whenever you're bringing these witches, you want all those giants out front because they're going to soak up all the multi multi hits. So that means all those skeletons are going to get huge value under that raise because the giants are in there taking the multi hits. Skeletons are going to get in there, just shred apart Inferno number one. Down it goes. Hound burst, just got to take care of those pups, and the queen's going to step right in. Witches, everything funnels right into the base. Nothing goes for a walk. When that happens and the earthquake is successful with a jump on that back end, this base does not stand a chance from this point. Queen is now moving in. She's finally worked through that level 11 wall and still has that healer on her. She's going to join the cleanup crew in one moment. Grand Warren ability goes down. So this is what I'm saying. There's that free spell, right? All the skeletons are being untouched. Finally, they do get touched, but allows everything just to get that step closer to that Inferno. Jump that wall. Get on top. Inferno Tower is about to be taken out. Down it goes. See you later, Inferno. DGB gets traded a little early. Still has a bunch of witches in there. Just has to take care of these last couple compartments. Queen's going to step up, finish things off. Grand Warren's on the bottom here protecting these last few witches. No splash damage down here. The only thing left for splash is that mortar. So that <laughs> means this base is done for. Nice job, Papa. Ooh, the bomb. Missed that. It's tree in the bag. All right, so beautiful job. Tough War uh, 2.0, but it's on the verge, right? Uh, I really, really think we um, we would have had at least a, uh, a tie shot if our nines had pulled through, and unfortunately we didn't this time. Uh, like I had mentioned before, that's very, very rare. Um, you know, I think uh, I just I just don't think uh, a lot of us were on our game, uh, me included. And I had, uh, like I said, literally probably my worst attack ever. I felt like. I don't know. I've, I I sat there after. I'm like, what the hell was that? Right? I've never ever ever felt that way after an attack. I've been mad. I've been upset. I've screwed things up before. I'm not saying that, but never like that. <laughs> and you know, I think that might be the same case for a lot of people. We had uh, a lot of guys were kind of burnt going into this weekend, and it and it showed. You know, it showed through. And uh, CS stayed true to their game. And came away at the two-star victory. So uh, fantastic job. Love you guys over there at Cold September. Um, you know, you guys do so much for this fair play community as well. Shag, you're just awesome. Uh, you know, one of the top streamers uh, out there really for the war community. So keep at it, guys. Uh, we love what you do for this game. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to, I believe it'll be round four, our next one. So uh, until then, guys, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help it bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm out.